So I just bought this hydraulic crimper for $900 and what it does is it crimps the fittings, uh, the ends of the hydraulic hoses onto the hydraulic hose. Um, and it's a bit of a complicated thing or a very tough thing. You can't just use a regular crimper or whatever because these things need like 10, 20 tons of pressure and are fully crimped down and fully uh, squeezed down because these hydraulic hoses, they hold up to 3,000 or even 10,000 PSI. So they need to hit a lot of force in order to uh, crimp that steel uh, sleeve and on over the uh, hose. So uh, let's get this open and see how it is. So I've actually had a hydro uh, hydraulic crimper already and it was a wetter head. So um, it's an American brand hose, uh, hydraulic crimper, but the problem with that one was it was just insanely expensive. I probably spent over uh, $1,600, so $1,600 on uh, accessories and getting it, and it was used, all right? So what I did was I was scour on eBay and stuff for uh, the crimpers and... Uh, buy them up a little by little, uh, three hundred dollars each. You know, two fifty each, four hundred dollars each. It was uh, it was very expensive to buy it all because at the time I bought that like probably close to five or six years ago. Um, and at the time there just wasn't this you know Chinese surplus stuff that you could get for really cheap. Um, and again, even for thousand six hundred dollars for that, uh, I'll, it was a really cheap deal because if I was gonna buy it brand new, it'd be closer to probably over um, I think like fifteen or twenty thousand uh, dollars for a wetter head, you know, proper hydraulic crimper. So, and I, what I was using was a twenty ton uh, hydraulic uh, press from Harbor Freight, and simply uh, using that as the actual uh, way to you know, press down onto the dies and crimp the hydraulic hoses. So what I instead did, and and then the final issue that uh, got me decided to buy this thing instead was uh, two things. First thing is that it uh, the set the ones I had at, at, at the time was quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, and three quarter inch, and I didn't have any five eighths or any anything else. It was a bit of a pain, and there was a couple of incidences where I did need five eighths, and I had to simply buy three quarter inch hose and then ad uh, adapt it down to five eighths. So. It was it was a bit of a pain and you know there's just it's it's not it's not a good thing um you know and again i was just spending so much money and what i realized that people were still buying right just like i was buying them other people were also buying wetter head crimpers so i simply sold that for a thousand six hundred dollars uh and then bought uh the bought the bought this machine so I actually made a profit and this thing is able to go all the way down to quarter inch and all the way up to one inch so not only do i have way more capability and i have an actual proper machine and this is way more portable because before i was using a 20 ton harbor freight stand so it is it's just better in every single way i should get a hammer for this these pliers are not intended for this. Here's what it looks inside. All right. And look at that beauty. Let me take this out and uh, show you how it works. So here's the machine. Uh, over here we got a little drawer uh, with our dies. And what you simply do is they have a dovetail. And over here you just slide them in. So a uh, bit of a pain. Kind of doing this one handed. There we go. So you just slide them in and then uh, slide them out. Put in all the ones around. And then here is the uh, spec specifications or information sheet. So it tells you which die number, all the way down to simply the mold base, which is this, you know, nothing included. 
Um, and the uh, purpose of this is because, so here's a hydraulic hose that I've already crimped. And you're supposed to use your micrometer and afterwards measure it. And there's a, a chart uh, which tells you the information on uh, what exactly uh, the you know specification should be in terms of crimping that. And the great thing about this machine is that uh, it has this uh, pretty much a adjustable uh, you know thing here and with this right here you're able to uh, you know set the whatever you know parameters you want and get exactly the you know diameter that you need here you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose so really really great machine it also has a little battery pack here so uh, this button is to test but uh, once you uh, press it down you know crimp it all the way and once it's fully uh, set to the right uh, you know size uh, it'll glow uh, like that and show you that you're good so uh, really cool and like I said it goes all the way up to one inch and yeah it has uh, all these various die sets so here's a demonstration. So I already put in the die. Uh, I'll be doing a three quarter inch hose, which needs a crimp diameter of 30.5. So I'll be using number 27, die number 27, because we're going to be 30.5. We're going to set it at uh, 3.5 millimeters. So three point five. So here we go. We got 0.5 uh, right between the three and four mark. And then we're going to put in our hose, make sure that the other side is sit in carefully. I got the valve closed. I got it set at close here. And we just crimp it all the way down. So now we just release this, open it up. We have our hydraulic hose, measure it. And we got 3.5, close enough. So perfect, as we see, it works. Always good to measure it with a caliper afterwards, just to make sure it's the right uh, diameter. Uh, and you might have to uh, play around with it and get used to it. So I hope you liked that video. I got a lot of projects going on. I just finished rebuilding a hydro, uh, an uh, excavator. Uh, I got to uh, just finish uh, taking the rods to a hydraulic shop to get re-chromed, redone. But otherwise, it's fully working. Engine starts really good. Hydraulics, uh, like I said, all redone. So just got to get those rods done and I can start using it. Hope you like this video. Subscribe. I'll be uploading a lot more videos like these soon.